Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back for another video, and today we are going to be playing Forza Horizon 4 again, which is my favorite game. Um, basically, we're just going to be testing the top speed of the um, Bugatti, the Bugatti Chiron, and also, you know how I bid on that car, on that Lamborghini in the last video? It was either a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Pretty sure it was Lamborghini though. But um I did not end up winning. I ended up spending like eight or nine hours today. I started at eleven o'clock and it's freaking twelve basically. So that's a pretty long time. And I ended up bidding for a Ferrari and I won. So I will be testing it in the next video. Um, but basically, we're just going to be testing the, um, the speed of this. We're going to be driving right there. Why does it want me to go that way? That's so weird. It's quicker to just go this way. But we're just going to be testing the speed. I'm pretty sure it's like 240-something. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's like 240-something. And then we'll test the Ferrari in the next video. And then we'll test the um, Austin Martin Forza Edition in the video that was that's going to be after the Ferrari. All right, we're here. I'm going to mark myself so I don't see the mark anymore. Let's get, let's get on to it. See how fast I can go. Hopefully I do not crash. kind of hard to talk and drive at the same time without crashing. See, if I talk, I, like, lose all control. I'm looking as far ahead in front of me as possible. Um, and I'm almost going to die. How did I not hit that car? That was insane. Come on, speed. Come on, man. 245, 246. I might be able to reach 250. 249. That's decent ish. Ish. Dang, this Bugatti's really messed up. And I crash. 249. That is pretty good. This is not stock, by the way. This is um, upgraded. Completely upgraded. Um. Stock would probably go like half the speed of this, so like 149 maybe. And yeah, but the Bugatti Chiron is a very cool car. Like if you're just kind of looking to get to your destination quickly, but not like lose control super quick, I'd pick this car. Unless you get the Austin Martin, which I'll review in the next video. I'll tell you about that. But this is a pretty cool car if you're going like 140. You don't really... Well, I lose control because I'm the worst driver on earth. But if you're going like 100, you don't really lose that much control. You don't really lose that much control. Like if I do this, you just kind of keep cruising and chilling. It's a pretty decent car for just like kind of like cruising to your destination and not like going like crazy to your destination like a crazy person. If, you're, if you want to take your time to get to your destination which probably nobody does i recommend getting this car if you want to win drag races and stuff i recommend this car if you want to like compete in races i do recommend this car but the thing is the launch sucks so you get going slow i think either that or it's the kona seg but oh it was a board on top of that church church um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool car, pretty flashy car. I do recommend it if you have enough money and you're just kind of bored and you have a bunch of other cars, but you don't know what to spend your money on. It's a pretty cool car. And yeah, please stay posted for more videos and stuff like this. 
please hit that like and subscribe button and comment if you want me to review another car. Again, I spent eight hours on that Ferrari, so I hope you guys see that video. Um, anyways, see you next time on Mad Max. Peace.